Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Car Loop Data and Cobra Car Insurance. Hey everyone, I am sitting in the Singapore Airlines Business Lounge here in Sydney, uh, International Airport, Terminal 1, and we are about to embark on a uh, flight to London via Singapore uh, for a three-week holiday. We'll be uh, driving around the UK in an EV, namely the Hyundai Ionic 5, and uh, also visiting the F1 at Silverstone as well. So it should be fun to see what the charging facilities are like in the UK and also uh, give you a bit of an insight uh, if you wanted to also do an F1 holiday as well. And towards the end of the trip, we'll also be spending some time in Singapore. But for the time being, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast here at the Singapore Airlines Lounge. Have a look at this. So I've scored myself some nasi lemak, which is coconut rice. We had some peanuts, egg, and also added a bit of beef and noodles as well. So yeah, I'm gonna tuck in. Mm, check out this spread. Mm. Western style on this side. And over here we've got some of the beef in my head. Looks good. And some mushrooms. Some kanji. Ooh, some condiments, pastries, muesli, and some fruit. And freshly made coffee as well. Spread of drinks as well. Very nice. Okay, so while I'm enjoying this pre flight drink, I'm happy to tell you that uh, the entire journey for the whole family on premium economy flying um, Singapore Airlines via Singapore from Sydney to London return was all redeemed using um, frequent flyer points. So they're all reward seats. Um, and it's a combination of basically uh, American Express Platinum points converted to uh, both Chris Flyer from Singapore Airlines and also um, Virgin Velocity points as well. I had to top up a little bit um, to make the balance uh, because there was also a 40% off special as well last year, which is when I booked these flights almost a year ago. Uh, back in July and August 2023. So it did take a little bit of planning, but uh, yeah, thanks to the help of being self-employed and using points, um, paying off my tax using American Express, uh, able to uh, fly the whole family on premium economy on Singapore Airlines from Sydney to London by Singapore return. So yeah, time to uh, reap the rewards. Cheers everyone. Oh, and uh, Virgin Velocity Gold and Platinum members get access to the uh, Singapore Airlines Lounge here in Sydney as well. Which, of course, I am now a Platinum member, if you've seen my previous vlog. Okay, so we're on board. In the seat number 36D, I think. Um, let's have a look at the infotainment screen. So, but the good thing is that there's free Wi Fi on board, so you know, check out the speeds. So, there's complimentary Wi Fi, unlimited complimentary Wi Fi for suites, first class, business class, and Chris Fly members, which you can sign up for free. If you're traveling in premium economy class or economy class, add your Chris Fly number. Okay, we'll just pause for the safety message. With sites of Singapore. Okay, so this is the premium economy cabin. Uh, we're literally at the front of the plane. Through that door there is the uh, cockpit already. And because this is a 380-800, there's another deck above us for business and first class. Plenty of room. And the toilets are literally behind us. Thank you. Hot towel. Very hot. 
And it's always nice to have row 36 because we're the final row in the premium economy section. There's no one behind me, so I can recline without bothering anyone behind me, which is great. And you can see the toilets behind me as well. We we'll share that with the um, economy cabin behind us. We'll have to check once we reach a certain altitude to make sure the Wi-Fi works. We'll test the speed as well. So in the seat, we get a lot of storage. Actually, two storage. There's like big storage here. And a little pouch there. And uh, we also get um, complimentary headsets to use as well. Nose cancellation headsets. So let's have a look at this. There we go, headsets. And uh, obviously, you know, airline plug, so there's no point taking it with you. You can't use it anywhere else except on board. There's some uh, clean covers as well for the earpieces. Okay, so let's have a look at the menu. Now, because um, we're premium economy, we've also got access to Book the Cook. So I've already chosen what I wanted to eat via the Singapore Airlines website previously, but if you haven't, they are the options there. Singapore to Sydney leg. And also the Sydney to Singapore leg, which we're going on right now. There we go, they're the options on board. And the drinks menu as well, where is it? So we've got a fancy champagne and wine there. And then some more drinks on this side as well, including the Singapore sling. Get a fluffy pillow, an actual pillow. And then also got a blanket as well. And plenty of leg room, you can see that. One, two, three. Three fists from my knee to the next seat in front of me. And it's a ratchet seat rest as well, so you actually drop that down. Then you can lift it up bit by bit, like that, by a ratchet. And then all the way up, like that. <coughs> and down here we've got some storage there, there. Place to put champagne. And down here, extra storage here too. And uh, once I recline, I'll show you this calf support down here. Then we've got more storage down here. Got the remote control there. Seat recline. I think this is the tray table, which we'll have a look at later on. Then on this side, we've got actually some more storage as well. Down here. And then behind me on the seat, you can lift the light up like that. Three levels of brightness. We've got USB-A ports there. And then this is for the headset. And as I said, it's uh, nothing behind it, which is cool. Just the way I like it. That's the headrest. And then down here, where my legs are, is actually a three-point socket for the seats. So you can plug something in with the travel adapter. Oh, and there's one more uh, USB-A port underneath the infotainment screen. And there's also a coat hook as well. Let's have a look at the flight. I wish you a pleasant journey. Let's have a look at the flight preview. So across the Australian continent, almost across Alice Springs. Sometimes you can see uh, Uluru as well. Been on flights where you can see Uluru. And then across northwestern Australia, fly across Indonesia, and then Singapore being one degree north of the equator is where we will stop for six hours before our next flight to London Heathrow. So there it is, six and a half thousand kilometres, and they've told us it's about uh, an eight hour flight to Singapore.
Okay, so let's test out the onboard Wi-Fi. Got to put in my email address, my last name, and my seat number. And I already added my Chris Flyer membership number to my uh, ticket before I left Sydney. Okay, let's see if this works. We are currently processing your request. All right, root source. Enjoy complimentary Wi-Fi for your entire flight. Awesome. All right, let's test the speed. Okay, speed test. Let's do it. I can't imagine it's going to be very quick. All right, here we go. <laughs> One megabit per second down. Pushing two. Maybe three. Can't imagine up is very fast. Yeah, pretty weak. So probably just enough to text. My loved ones back home. And maybe check email. Your internet is slow. It's running through Zurich. Well, that's better than nothing, I suppose. It's a pretty big tray table as well. All right, so this is the seafood thermidor, which I ordered online before departure. And it says Seafood Thermidor, SF30 for seat 3060. So we've got some uh, meats there, a little passion fruit uh, cheesecake, I guess. And inside here, which is nice and piping hot, that's what it looks like. And there we go, some saffron rice, seafood, and broth. Mm. Dark chocolate, butter, toasty warm bread, well, semi-warm, and ooh, some dill or oil, I guess, pour that over something, maybe probably this meat here, Get some cheese and crackers, and look, actual silverware, so they can sound really classy and posh, cooking away. And then some water as well. I'm going to tuck in. Nothing says premium economy and above like a napkin on your lap as you're eating. Mmm, it's good. Let's try a muscle. Mm. Very nice. Okay, so about two hours remaining in the flight. I've watched almost two movies now, and they've just served a snack. And it looks like it's a vegetable uh, pasty thing, or pasty, I guess. Uh, Artisan Food Company Australia. Let's see what's inside. Hot snack, 120 grams. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Probably could do with some tomato sauce. But, uh, yeah, it feels warm enough. I shall enjoy it. And uh, you can open it that way as well as Joy is demonstrating. There you go. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to tuck in. Okay, so we're here at the uh, Singapore Airlines Silver Chris Lounge at Terminal 3 at uh, Singapore's Changi Airport. And as Velocity Gold and Platinum members, we get reciprocal access into this lounge as well. So I'm going to go check out the food. Mm. Alcohol? More alcohol? 
some soft drinks in the please. Wow. Look at all the uh, pastries here and desserts. Some sushi rolls down here. Some more spirits. A little salad bar. Mushroom soup. Yum. Oh, this looks good. Some rice. Some more rice. Some more noodles. Mm. Teriyaki fish. Spaghetti. Egg tofu with corn sauce. Mm. Lemon chicken. Mm. Some dumplings. Looks good. Oh, pork buns. Yum. Ooh, a Luxor station. Man, I couldn't help myself. I had to try the laksa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're back on the plane. That is the route. We are now flying to London across the subcontinent. And through Eastern Europe. And through Western Europe. And into London. So, almost 13 hours there. Some 11,000 kilometers should be landing in the morning tomorrow at about 6 a.m. in the morning. And the evening meal before we go to sleep. So again, I used Book to Cook and I ordered the Bak Chor Mi, which is a Singaporean favorite, apparently. But there it is right there. So with the water tucking in. We've also got some meats here. Yeah. and dessert as well. Ooh. Now I'm eyeing Joy's chicken rice. Oh, that well, looks good. All right, so we're not too far away from landing into London, just under two hours remaining in the flight. I managed to get a little bit of sleep, probably maybe five, five, six hours, so pretty happy with that. And it's time for breakfast. I did book the cook again, so a bit of fruit there, and a croissant, and I ordered chicken satay with nasi goreng. So let's have a look what's inside. Ooh, that looks really good. I'm gonna try this. All right, everyone, we are in London and on the Heathrow Express into Paddington Station before uh, catching an underground to our accommodation. But uh, it's been a long flight and I'm glad we've made it. 
and uh, it certainly was a very comfortable experience in premium economy. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more content from the UK, uh, particularly the uh, loan of the Hyundai Ionic 5, thanks to Hyundai UK. So thanks for watching. Until next time, happy charging.